after a Super Bowl, last game in the NFL season, man. Ooh. Motherfuckers are already talking about who you got next year. Nigga, why? <laughs> Celebrate these Chiefs. You ain't lying, bro. How, how we feel about the game, first and foremost? Was that a great game? Incredible. Started, yeah. started slow, but... No, I think the defense, I, it defense. was turnovers. It yeah. was turnovers because they was driving. So it wasn't like it was just punts, punts, punts. Yeah, they were right. driving and then they'll fumble. That Couple them motherfuckers fumbles, out yeah. there hitting, boy. Uh, defense right. going crazy. Defense so, was going I, I, crazy. I like all aspects of the game, man. It was very entertaining. You got what you wanted to see? Uh, uh, shit. I didn't see Pat Mahomes see him. I saw him at the end. You did? He you hugged did? Uh, he, he hugged Travis Kelsey. I saw him hug Travis, Travis Kelsey. That's it. That's it. He hugged Pat Mahomes? I didn't, see, I didn't really watch the Pat full Pat Mahomes probably still mad at him. Dad, you embarrassed me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he probably still mad. Hey, son, I made you, nigga. I'll go fuck with Kelsey since you want to act like a little hoe. <laughs> hey, did the Chiefs win or did the 49ers? Because they keep saying 49ers dropped it again. I don't want to say that. It was just a good game, bro. And you're going against Pat Mahomes. Good game. Of course, uh, uh, I think San Fran had chances to take advantage of, you know, putting the ball in the end zone as, as opposed to selling for field goals. But shit, man, that that was a, two of the best defenses or the hottest defenses in the league. And yep. I think they lived up to everything we we thought it would be, man. It was, That was just a good football game. It was bro. a good game. But what Greenlaw going down, that was crazy to see. And how it happened. And how it happened. And I think that's a that's a, that's a big factor in that game. I think for sure, bro. That that I felt so bad for Buddy, so bad, cause he going out onto the field, and this boy's a he's After a, a stop. Man, come on, bro. He's a he's a premier player on that defense. Him yeah, and uh, yeah. fifty four go crazy. They really yeah. hold the, hold the defense down, in my opinion. But uh, man, I yeah, I damn near cried for Buddy, man. The biggest moment of your career, and you literally jogging out on the field, and and you have been balling up to that point. I'm telling you. So that was, that was tough to see. A lot of people saying, does this make the Chiefs a dynasty? Yeah. That, absolutely. Once you get three, that absolutely. three in five years, that is definitely a dynasty. And material. you don't went, what, four out of five? No question. Yeah. Yeah. So Only you lost one of them. Yeah, yeah. You lost to Brady, but four out of five. Man, they, um, and then to do it, because you know, when they um traded Tyreek, can they do it without Tyreek? They do it, they did it twice without him. That's that's saying a lot too, because Tyreek's one of the most dominant receivers in the league, and to lose him and they still not miss a beat, that means oh. a lot. <sighs> Come on, you gotta hit that shot, man. Now that football season's over with, my job is not done, man. Now I'm 100% committed to basketball. With that being said, it's time to lock in. Hey, man, especially with Valentine's Day coming up, if you don't got no money to get your girl no gift, why you ain't signed up on Prize Picks? Huh? Especially when if you use the code broken play, they will match up to anything you put up. If you put up $83, they'll match that. All you gotta do is use the code B-R-O-K-E-N-P-L-A-Y. I think I spelled it right. Broken play. And if you don't, you might be B-R-O-K-E-N-U-P. Because she's going to break up with you if you ain't got no gift. If you hit six picks, you can win 25 times your money. Man, it's available in over 30 states. What you waiting for? Come on, you got to make that shot. Do you know Valentine's Day is coming up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, shopping for the gift now. Come on. So you know how it is, man. My prize picks is depending on this. Man, and look. If your girl likes sports, let that be the gift. Sign her up for prize picks and use the broken play code. Double the money. Shit. Hey. Uh, my gift to you guys. I would say this, Marcel, and that you brought this up. The shit would be unfair if Tyreek was still on that damn <laughs> No, Nah, all bullshit aside, that, that shit would yeah. be unfair. <laughs> But see a fast motherfucker out there running with nobody with him and Pat Mahomes done bought some time? That's the only thing. Pat Mahomes gonna buy some time. Yeah, he yeah. just don't have a motherfucker open. Yeah. But Kelsey. And That's now I guess uh, Watson and Noah Gray. Uh, he man, that about, Noah Gray, that's... He got 40 tight ends. I'm pissed about the Noah Gray shit. Man. I had his um under. As what, you should have. Receiving. Man, what'd he do? 
He did more than yeah, do he, under. Yeah, he went over. But what, what are y'all thoughts about that? Like, the game started off slow. Kansas City started off slow. You, and you see that Travis Kelsey react to Andy Reid. Like, when y'all first saw that, like, what Bullshit. was y'all reaction? Bullshit. He was, he'd been doing that shit all season. Mm-hmm. And I really thought it was going to cost him a, a, a championship run. Because you don't see uh, uh, teammates, teams fighting each other and still overcome that shit just yeah. to win. You see that shit end up costing them. Even Rice, number four, was in Mahomes' ass at one point on the sideline. And I'm thinking, oh, shit, let this, don't let this be the detriment of the team. Because they were fighting each other damn near all year. Yeah. They seem to overcome a lot of that shit week after week after week. So... Man, I, I I think that adds on, and people need to take that into consideration when they think about Pat Mahomes and the job he did just this year alone, overcoming that shit that they overcame, the lack of receivers, the lack of plays being made by them, and him literally putting that shit on his back, bro. That that was huge. Man, Reggie, on that fourth down play. The fourth and short. Yep, yeah. that's all I needed to see. RPO. When, when he had that, and I said, this nigga not going to lose. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing we talked about with Lamar Jackson. He put it in his own yeah. hands, bro. You let me use my feet or hey, throw. Reggie, he might have called that play his goddamn. You son. better believe it. And we're gonna we're gonna uh, hand it off to Pacheco. Who gonna hand it off to Pacheco? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, if I hand this ball off to Pacheco hey, on, and man. he don't get this first down, I'm liable to catch a boy. Me and Dad going out <laughs> right tonight. <laughs> he would have went up there and talked today. You got that on you? <laughs> you know it. Who would have? would have shot that bitch up, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but nah, I get what you're saying though. Like, un- honestly, like, it ain't so much of like them arguing that that got me with that. But it just show. I think they've been doing that, but it just was different because it's like y'all done been here before. Yeah. Y'all done faced adversity uh, plenty of times. Y'all y'all slick cracking under pressure. Exactly. Luckily, you just got a nigga like Pat Mahomes. Like, man, y'all chill out. I got this shit. Hey man, but he, for Kelsey, nigga, stop doing all that yeah, shit. Yeah, for real, bro. A little too much. Nigga, you want to go buck on little, little Andy Reid? A little too much. You know that fat ass nigga can't hold his composure <laughs> and shit. That nigga damn near tumbled over. <laughs> man, it looked bad, and it looks worse. The more the more times you see it, the worse man, it looks. And they slow that motherfucker yeah, down. Yeah, they do. Andy Reid glasses start fogging up. But he tight because, like, hey, bro, like, I'm your best player, second best player on offense, and I'm not on the field. And it's like, and you fumble the ball, like. But you negate that entire, that entire frame of thought when you present that argument the way he did, bro. That's the head coach. Yeah. Come on, bro. That ain't the OC. That ain't the positional coach. Bro, that's Andy Reid, the head coach. You you got to have some type of uh, respect for yourself and your coach at that point, bro. Because that sends a I, message to I everybody agree. in the stadium. Can't fuck with a head coach like that, bro. All right. Is Pat Mahomes the GOAT? I know you still saying Tom Brady, Marcel. But I will tell you this. <laughs> the nigga only 28. He, he, tied, he, tied, he tied with he Tom. Tom had three he at 28, and now Pat has three at 28. He on the way, for Bro, sure. The nigga, um, the nigga done passed Peyton Manning already. Oh, yeah. Yeah, facts. Peyton had one or two? Two. He has two. He had one with the Colts and one with the Broncos. Yeah. yeah. But the reason why I say, like, we we have to keep Brady in the conversation because Brady had longevity and the nigga had seven rings. And he and someone I saw someone on on Twitter say, "Call me when uh, Pat Mahomes does it in the AFC and NFC." Man, get out of here! That's yeah. funny. <laughs> Nick, nah, Mahomes on the way, bro. What you mean when he doing in the AFC and the NFC? He beat the best NFC team. No, the Forty Nineers saying Tom. Won one in the NFC, won Super Bowl in the NFC, and he also won I get what you're saying. But look, the NFC, how long has the NFC? I think the NFC the weakest uh, conference. Mm, debatable. It's the, it's, the, it's the weakest conference. You got the NFC South, all that shit bullshit. <laughs> that, that shit is pure pure bullshit. NFC East, I, I'll take the goddamn Cowboys and uh, what, uh Cowboys and uh, Philly. Philly. Shit, NFC North. Who you got? Green Bay. Detroit. In Detroit. Oh, man, I'm yeah. sleeping. Detroit. Then NFC uh, West. You got 49ers. Seahawks. You can't solid. throw the... Mm. Man, you can't throw Hit the Seahawks miss. in there. Hit them. Now, when you go 
AFC East, you got the Bills. You got the damn... Jets. Jets was on the down, but they still was Patriots in there. Patriots and, and Dolphins. Dolphins. That's a tough-ass division. AFC South, Jaguars and Texans. Texans. AFC yeah. West. Jaguars are average. AFC yeah. West, who you got? Uh, That's Kansas the Chiefs? City. Raiders, uh, Broncos, nah, Raiders. and Chargers. And that, and that whole well, AFC teams, North. Yeah, yeah, the team. That whole AFC North. It's, Ravens, Steelers, yeah, Bengals. And the goddamn Browns. Yeah. Boy, that whole AFC North. AFC different. AFC different. It's been like that for years, The AFC's too. way stronger nowadays with Mahomes than it was with uh, Nigga, you Tom, crazy. For sure. For sure. <laughs> what do you mean? You had Ben Roethlisberger in Pittsburgh. Uh, before that, you had Flacco with Baltimore. Yeah, Baltimore still Man, going crazy. they always had tough-ass. Yeah. What's your boy uh, that came from USC, Reggie? That Which was with one? the Bengals. Carson Palmer. Oh, Some yeah. Some Palmer he ain't fucking on. with... He slept on, bro. Bro, they had, he but I'm saying on. they had a tough he ass conference. I'm saying it's tougher now, though. I'm saying it's tougher now. I'm just saying it's been tough. It's been tough. That's all I'm they saying. They known for bro. that shit, especially just Pittsburgh and the Rays. I mean, Pittsburgh and the Rays have been holding down the AFC for a long ass time. So, I mean, historically, they've always been. Tom good. Brady went and got an NFC uh, Super Bowl when he went to the. Uh, before that, who last team was uh, Seattle, ain't it? To win one? Uh, yeah. yeah. Seattle. Yeah. Damn. So look, that's what Damn. I'm trying to tell you. AFC when the AFC come out, they whoop their ass. <laughs> that's a good point. That's a long ass drought. Bucks, Seattle, and what what team before Seattle, bro? Giants. The Giants. I think. Nigga, they win one every six, seven <laughs> damn years. Damn. And you I ain't looked at no stats. This is off the top. You on or something. That's off the, the motherfucking top. Oh, the Rams. The Rams won. Rams. Oh, yeah. I it was yeah. I slipped. <laughs> the Rams won two years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Philly won against New England. <laughs> All right, nigga. <laughs> you got what I was, what Boy, I was saying. Boy, hey, you had a hell of a goddamn perspective <laughs> speech, but right? I was... Shit. <laughs> that one was like nigga looking up state when I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> nigga just clapping and shaking your head. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> hey. Oh, who shit. do Pat Mahone... Do you, who you compare him on the NBA... Equivalents like you know how they put Tom Brady with Mike. Should we like with Pat? I would say with Pat, I would say Kobe. Steph. You say, ooh, that's a good one. Steph. That is a Left good on. one. I always want to be counted out. You all, you got you got reasons to hate on him or why he can't do it. People lead the teams. Come on, oh man. man, Reggie, you just Come on, people man. don't like his wife and chilling. Like, yeah, people don't like Aisha like that. So yeah, that's that's a good. Comparison. I wasn't gonna go that damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it run together. Uh, it run yeah, together. but I'm talking <laughs> about I'm talking about strictly athletic. <laughs> I ain't know you. Was, I don't know about a nigga not liking nobody wife. I don't know. Yeah, Steph, Steph still overrated a little. I mean, underrated a little bit. So, but I yeah. feel like they, people don't underrate Pat. Nah, you know Pat a bad motherfucker. Well, I mean, you got your 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 Brady fans that still will question him being the goat because he ain't hits just seven yet. You know what I mean? So, it's gonna be a minute, but he gonna catch that. Yeah, he he. I can tell how Pat playing. He ain't leaving till he get eight. Yeah, that nigga won't eight. And the thing, um, and I've seen Pat getting the Jordan comparisons because he's like so many great quarterbacks in his league right now, and they're not touching anything because Pat's. Beating them all, yeah, and all of them in the same conference, and I that's like just that. how like when Mike was in the league, a lot of like niggas would have won rings if Mike wasn't in that yeah, era, bro. For sure. Uh, Troy Aikman, his tweet um resurfaced, and nigga said, "Talk to me when he has thirty three percent of my Super Bowl title, nigga." He now he neck and neck with your ass. What you gotta say? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. He said that in 2019. Yeah, I wouldn't give a fuck one. when he said. Yeah, that didn't age well at all. Shit, in 2019, well, he had, he had none. He had none in 2019. He was nope. on the verge of getting one. Man, Pat Mahomes might have saw that and said, "I'm gonna show this motherfucker." <laughs> he got one that year. He tweeted the shit. Yeah, the 1920 year. Yep. Yeah, September 23rd, 2019. Yeah, that's damn. He got Troy. his first one then. Mm-hmm. Damn, Troy. Same friend. Keep your motherfucking mouth closed, nigga. Kyle Shanahan, zero and three in the Super Bowls as an offensive coordinator and a head coach. Niners lose third Super Bowl in a row. Bro, it was Debo hurt. Uh, he came back. Yeah, but I'm he saying play, he, he played. He he's a dog, bro. Bro, he is he's different, bro. Hey, Kyle Shanahan. Hey, hey, I'm gonna say this. 
Brock Purdy, you played a good game. Phenomenal. You play. He managed the game well. Boy, no, I'm man, not. He made some motherfucking made throws, boy. boy. He managed the game well. He bro. made. Man. He made some throws, Marcel. Bro, phenomenal. That boy played his ass off. Man, bro. when he got out that pocket and threw game. that motherfucker to the uh, fullback, bro. He made some plays. He made bro. some plays, but he didn't. What, what that, you want? What you that, want him to do? That be that back? Cam, when Cam Newton say that extra, he didn't, you didn't see that. You didn't see that extra shit. Bro, listen. I did. When that blitz came. I really did. But I did, though, Marcel. I got to disagree with oh, you. Yeah. Yes, I saw him make some disagree. plays. It's Even against good. the fucking best quarterback there is right now. Listen play to this, good, Reggie. Man. Even on that fourth down when they could have kicked the field goal and they went for it and they got it, it's shit like that. He gave you what you wanted. Fourth and three. Fourth and three. Mm-hmm. Kyle Shannon, I like shit like that. Because I said a field goal right here, this don't stop nothing. They don't score 13 or else. You score three, they still there feel like, oh, we got these niggas on the rope. Mm-hmm. You needed a touchdown right there and they got it. What fucked up, the uh, kicker makes that extra point. That if was the, a game. If the kicker make that extra point, That's the game. Now, it got blocked. they had to make a damn touchdown. He didn't miss, it got blocked. Huh? It got blocked. Oh, yeah, Nigga, it's still blocked. a motherfucking miss. I don't care <laughs> who I happened. <laughs> I didn't ask how it happened. You missed. This way, hey, I need everybody blocking. For real. I'm finna kick this extra point. <laughs> motherfucker, if you could kick a 57, motherfucker, you could kick an extra point. I don't give a fuck if it get blocked or not. <laughs> he said through the block. Man, through the block. Let that bitch go in there. Break a hand. <laughs> Man, break that bitch hand. <laughs> but you better kick that bitch so goddamn hard, a block don't stand a chance. Why can't um, Shanahan get over this? You know, he in his own way. He in his own way. He man. think he's so motherfucking smart till he not. I think that's yeah. I think that's that's, that's all it is. Yeah, that's just he want to be he want to be classified as a genius, nigga. We already think you you got a brilliant offensive mind, but sometimes nigga just play the game. It's it's stupid when you start doing stupid shit when you up, bro. Niggas forget. Every time now they get to the Super Bowl, they always have a running back core. Bro, he be passing, doing all this motion shit. All that's cool and fancy. But nigga, when you up, I want to see CMC bring in the other running back. Switch them niggas out. Doing misdirections. Run the ball. Yeah, 22 carries. Hey, bro. He was tired on a lot of that shit, Marcel. Yeah, he was. like... Shout out. He was getting five, six a pop. Why stop running? That game Same was shit so... with the Falcons. Why stop running? Now, yeah, that's a different story. The Falcons need to run the ball every goddamn down. <laughs> we got three running backs, bro. <laughs> but, yeah. He fucked up. And so, the funny thing is, Kyle Shanahan been up by 10 or more in all these games he lost. Every game. Been 10 or more, been bro. up and lost them all. Boom, man. My home's been down 10 nothing every Super Bowl he done won. Crazy. <laughs> we on our shit today, boy. <laughs> hey, Usher killed that motherfucking Woo! halftime. Talk perform. about boy, it. I was jamming, cleaning up, boy. Hey, <laughs> I was cleaning up at halftime, jamming. That nigga make a nigga want to goddamn be at State Farm Arena come October, boy. <laughs> I'm going. Ain't no that, question. Hey, that was a goddamn little goddamn trailer for his goddamn tour. Yeah, I know you performed that Super Bowl, nigga, but if I know if you could put all of that in ten minutes. For real. Imagine what you're gonna do for a motherfucking hour. Yeah, he um he he different, man. You ain't gonna see him in Vegas. I saw him in Vegas. No, hey wild. man, when wow. we was out there in Vegas, we had an opportunity to, to go see him in Vegas. And I turned the shit down like uh, a fucking you fool. That was amazing. Probably one of the best shows I've seen. Nah, that was by far the best concert yeah. I've yeah. been to, dog. And then is that the best halftime performance we ever seen? I know for me, yes. Top five for sure. Top three. Top I know five it surpassed sure. that Dr. Dre one that I said was the best one, I think. I think it was better than that one. Yeah. He even eclipsed Beyonce. He might have. I'm, I'm super she turned, biased. She turned off the lights, but she he might have for sure. I'm super biased to everybody from Atlanta too, though, so. Yeah. We and then done. to bring out Luda, Lil John, <laughs> JD, her, And goddamn little baby Jermaine Dupree. What the fuck he had on? That nigga look like a nigga standing on a wedding cake. (laughs) 
I said, man, what the fuck he wearing? Hey, and I fuck with Jermaine. I fuck with your vegan ice cream. I fuck with all the shit you done did for Atlanta. <laughs> but nigga, you was supposed to be fresh as a motherfucker. This nigga. made me get up and start cleaning up, bro. Nigga, I said, I swear to God. how you got a short suit on? <laughs> Not the sh- I'm talking about like a... I don't know, man. They say you look like Wednesday from the Adams Family. <laughs> <laughs> That shit made me get up, man. Who, Alicia Key? Oh, nigga. Oh, Still got shit. it. Swiss beat. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm not being disrespectful, but boy, I ain't never wanted to be another nigga in my life. I wanted to be, I wanted to be Usher right there hugging on her ass. <laughs> you were my, my boo. Oh. That was great, man. That was excellent. Absolutely. They said Swiss song commented, had a comment. What did he say? He said, Y'all talking about the wrong damn thing. Y'all don't see that amazing dress covering the entire stadium. Tonight's performance was nothing but amazing with two amazing giants. Congrats, Usher, and my love, Alicia Keys. That song is a classic. We don't do negative vibes on this side. We make history. But you know, Swiss Beats ain't no insecure-ass nigga. Nah. You know what I'm saying? I don't, like, sometimes niggas just got to know, like, Evidently in rehearsal, they probably rehearsed like that. Usher probably added a little more because I yeah, could tell how I, I could tell of how course. he was smirking. <laughs> that nigga was like, I got this one in. <laughs> but with Swiss, Swiss, man, if your woman an actress and your woman do shit, you know she might have to kiss a nigga in a movie. Mm-hmm. So he ain't tripping on that. Nigga, my old lady just was on the Super Bowl. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So they're like, nigga. That's the last thing I'm worried about, baby. We finna run this shit up. Put the new album on your page. Because <laughs> that traffic finna dry, dry this shit to them. Amen. I'm finna drop that DMX classic album <laughs> that I mixed. <laughs> Look, Tyrese Halliburton said the uh, Super Bowl commercial used to mean something, man. We used to be a country. The commercials was weak as fuck. I didn't, man. I didn't even know. I ain't see a good one. Maybe the Dunkin' Donuts with J-Lo. And that was ben, the best one. That was pretty funny. I liked that recent one. I think I saw a recent one. Uh, it was that shit was one. weird. When they just like yeah, breaking I, shit and like... That one where they like, popped champagne into the building. Which one was that? I don't that remember, was kind of funny. I don't even know that one. I don't what, what's the one. best Super Bowl commercial you remember seeing? Like what, what do you think? I used to like them Doritos commercials. They used to have one no every Doritos year, bro. They, they used to have... Doritos what? had one every year. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't remember Salsa that Mary, shit. They had a commercial? Fuck, I missed it. That nigga, I'm going to always remember food commercial. Fuck, I missed it. I missed it. I missed uh-huh. it. Nigga, after each commercial break, we turned the music up. Again. There you go. See, I can't be in those type of environments. Why? I want to see the commercials, bro. <laughs> Black environments. That's the, that's the 6565, six, boy. I want to see the commercials, bro. I'll be commercial. locked in, man. Turn off this fucking music. I'm trying to hear that. I'm trying to time the anthem. <laughs> I got a bet on the anthem. Turn off this shit. Uh, I'm trying to say. You. But nah, yeah, the commercials it's not, yeah. wasn't hitting this shit. So far. The, last year, remember they had that one that you thought someone changed the channel? Nah, two That be, shit was crazy. To be killed last year that with shit that last fire. shit. Come on. And they ain't had to make one since. Facts. Nigga, I've been watching two big movies ever since. <laughs> we got the NBA All Star Weekend this weekend. Got the dunk contest, three point contest. Who's in the dunk contest first and foremost? Good question. Jalen Brown, Tommy ain't Hawkins, Jalen Brown, uh, Obi Thompson's brother, and Mac McClung. Jalen Brown created with the dunks. You think? Nah, I don't. I don't think. Yeah, so. usually it'd be weird niggas who win. <laughs> they got so much time to practice shit. Jalen Brown, you be playing in playing for real. minutes, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got time to be bullshit and coming up with shit. You know how a nigga be watching the game, man? What if you throw it off that and do this? Like, nigga, just watching the game. They don't even be watching to see if the team winning. Right. Uh, who in the three-point contest? But I'm going to take Jalen Brown just because. I'm taking Jalen. I'm taking... Um... Topping brother? Nah. Uh. I take uh Matt McClone. He probably went in. Okay. He, he Who y'all short. got in three point contest? Who uh, we got, Don? Car Anthony Towns, Trey Young, Tyrese Halliburton, Dame Lillard, Malik Beasley. Give me J- Trey. Jalen Brunson, uh, Laurie Marketing, and Donovan Mitchell. 
No, you know what? I don't know about Trey now because he's going to play in the All-Star game. So he, if he wasn't playing in the All-Star game, he would have goddamn hit every fucking shot. Damn, you think? I'm going to go. Uh, I really don't give a fuck. I don't watch the three-point country. I don't give a damn about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, uh, I think Lloyd Marketing or Trey Young. You know what I be like? I like the skills participation. That skills shit. Yeah, skills. I like the skills challenge. So skills challenge is teams. Um, team um, top picks. Anthony Edwards, Paolo Bancaro, and Victor Wimbanyama. Team All-Stars is Tyrese Maxey, Trey Young, and Scotty Barnes. And Team Pacers is Tyrese Halliburton, Miles Turner, and Benedict Matherin. I'm going to go with uh, Team All-Stars. With, with Maxie Trey and Trey? Maxie, yeah. Because anything with dribbling and bouncing that motherfucker in the goddamn, they're going to do that. I'm going to go with the home team. Man, Pacers. not with no damn Miles Turner. <laughs> Best all-star game of all time. I really ain't got one. Uh, Atlanta 03. Michael Jordan's last one. That shit, I, I wish I was there, bro. I was here in the city. The shot to put it in over. Should have won that shit. Over, I think he hit it over Kobe, too. No, over uh, Sean Marion. Mm. Mm. That's why he hit it. Damn, yeah, <laughs> then that foul that ruined that. Like Kobe tied it. So like, bro, I ain't missing this shit so you can get MVP or some shit. I know I remember the most memorable dunk contest, and that was that Vince Carter T Mac one. Yes, sir. Put the arm in the rim. 2000? Yeah. T Mac would have won if he, any year without Vince. T Mac didn't even want to be in this shit. <laughs> he, he, was a, he was a late add in. Like, Vince had to convince him, like, hey, bro, come on, man, let's do this shit. Like, he didn't, want, he didn't want to be in that shit. But that year, like, Steve Francis did a great job that year, too. That helped T Mac, yeah, though. Steve like, Francis. that put eyes on T Mac. Like, I think that was my first time hearing about T Mac. Yeah, real. he had some great dunks. But my best one is 2016 Zach versus Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon oh, got robbed. Man, oh, that, that, was, was, that was the most creative that's shit. That's the best I've dunk ever seen. contest. Yes, yeah, but bro. I'm saying, I, it's my. They said most memorable. I'm talking about the most memorable. Because you got to think. That's very, yeah, yeah, 2001 is memorable. The scenery, fun. everybody there, Vince doing shit like that. It just was like, you know, don't get me wrong. Zach Levine and Aaron Gordon, they not Vince Carter. It was a They're great not. dunk contest. But ain't you ain't hear niggas start. Niggas were putting Vince Carter name in raps after that. Niggas were imitating the shit. To this day, Roddy Rich, like. Yeah. Mentioning his song. Nigga, ain't nobody imitating no goddamn Zach Levine doing shit. <laughs> I ain't rapped his name in one motherfucking lyric. That's 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 a fact. <laughs> but they had a great dunk contest. Like I'm telling you, but I'm saying sometimes it's when we say memorable. Right. Yeah. That's what it is. You're right. Cause like Super Bowl, it's people probably who don't perform better than Usher. But I ain't seen the shit. Nigga might say, you ain't see Bon Jovi. You goddamn right. Cause I ain't watched that shit. <laughs> so I can't say. I can't argue certain shit, but I will say that Vince Carter one, that's the one. Yeah. And then, like, you got to think, each era has their favorite one. You will see people talk about that Mike and Dominique one all the time. Yeah, they yeah, like yeah, that yeah, one yeah. more than the Vince Carter one. Yeah. Because they, you know what I'm saying? Because, so like, like and we, we don't, the thing about it now is, like, you don't see all-stars in the dunk contest. Yes. Though, and that kind of, like, ruins the shit. Like, we, like, Ja, what's up? Like, come on. Like, if he was... If he wasn't hurt, like I don't think he still would have done it this year. Yeah, he got to give these guys want these young guys want more incentives. The White House, he had a good one. Yeah, that super that Superman that. shit was dope. Who knows if that stood for Superman? <laughs> Boy, shut the fuck up! They know what that they know what that is stand for <laughs> sexually act. <active. laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> sexual. <laughs> sexual. <laughs> Oh. Trade deadline is over. Who won the trade deadline, man? Uh, probably the Mavericks. Uh, PJ oh, Washington, yeah. Daniel Gafford. Yeah, they didn't really give up that much. They got Grant Williams the fuck out of there. Like, <laughs> we don't like your morale and shit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't like seeing him play. No way. Yeah, he's, Who? He's, Grant Williams. He's, he's, his yeah, he's just trash. a tough motherfucker. Is he though? Is he? Yeah. A lot of, a lot of these NBA players is fake tough. I'm saying when I say tough, like nigga just go hard for a rebound type of shit. Just act like he's going hard. Man. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I love the Knicks getting Alec Burks back and then Bogdanovich some scoring off the bench. 
Uh, they didn't. They still have their first picks, their first round picks. Nick, show team, uh, Marcel. Nah. Oh, okay. I don't got my team was the Bulls growing up in the '90s era. Uh, for sure, Jordan, had to but be Michael I don't Jordan. really have. I'm a more of a player guy now. Okay. Hey, who did OKC get? Gordon Hayward. Gordon Hayward. Oh, that's a Y'all good like pick that up one? too. No. I think they got it's good for, for like yeah for nothing yeah 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 a veteran pickup. Well, I think they he ain't really do he ain't really been for five Gordon think, Hayward though he might come out with okay yeah, he just start on, run with him man uh, Yvette how you felt about the uh, Usher performance we can get your take on that I loved it I thought it was really cute um, Alicia was a little shaky in the first two notes but oh lord. Um, yeah, I liked it. The only thing I wish I would have seen was uh, Lovers and Friends. That was the only song from like the oh, lineup. Lovers. Yeah, because Ludacris was there, Lil John was there. Oh, I just felt like, nah. Let's do it. He couldn't tweet. Man, that nigga still had hits to do. Yeah. Honestly, though, I really liked seeing him at the, the Super Bowl. Like, he's an ideal artist. Like, he has a catalog. He just came off of the residency in Vegas. Like, he felt that home. Time. Yeah. In now the skates. Think about it. That was my. And he that was brought some. Yeah, he brought some in his residency onto the halftime with the skates and stuff. Yeah. Uh-huh. She's she, so goddamn she talented and sexy. Oh my gosh, she's she, so fire. She's fine. She play basketball. She do yeah. guitar. Oh, Marcus Polk said he bit thicker than a motherfucker. You. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> See, so you nigga be doing all that, and that's how women do, bro. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> you gotta be careful, bro. Man. Oh, wait, and shout out to Sean Bankhead. He's an amazing choreographer from Atlanta. I've been watching his, like, videos since I was a kid. They used to be dancing at Dance Round 1. He was in the opening number with the guys dancing right behind Usher. Yeah. It'd be good when people be, you know, on, like, the dancers and stuff, and they be people who you know, and they circle them and do a screenshot and do all that. Yeah, like, dope. give them they love, yeah. Because that's big for them, too, but that shit go by fast as hell. Do it for the A. Brought yeah. the A to the world. That's what he said, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. The stage was shaking. They doing the A Town stump stage shaking. Like, it's lit. Yeah, that. And I guess because when we know the songs, like when they had who, like if they had some one of them old white ladies, I don't know that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to fuck them, man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> share. <laughs> Nigga, I I don't mute. I turn the TV off. Nigga, let me know when the game start back. I don't want to hear no goddamn uh uh who who are them niggas? Aaron Smith. I don't want to hear none of them. Niggas. Maroon Five. They perform. Oh before. man, nah, I like Maroon Five. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say yeah, Maroon Five. Them niggas. I ain't gonna lie. This love has taken its toll. Oh baby, that been my shit. <laughs> she said goodbye. Bye. Too many times before. Nah, I'll probably go to them one of them nigga concert. If I get a good deal on the tickets. I wouldn't pay hot, top dollar for this shit. Um, who you think had the biggest impact on the Chiefs winning? 15. 15. Who? 15. <laughs> oh, shit. What? Who is that? Priest home? No, oh, Priest home. That's hard. Holmes. That's hard. I'll say uh, 15 in the play calling. 15, Amazing bro. play calling. 15. Man, you like Wallow, bro. Nah, don't say <laughs> For real, Giants, your team, how you doing? Man, they won me money yesterday, dog. Like, but that pre- but that's a priest home jersey. That you ain't just get that. You been had that. I had it. Yeah, so I wore it. So I'm saying you been fucking with the Chiefs. No, I wear jerseys, bro. I'm a jersey collector, bro. I got oh, hockey okay. jerseys, basketball jerseys. I'm a Giants fan, but Chiefs, I bet it on the Chiefs. They won me money. How many, let's talk about our bets yesterday, man. I oh, told shit. me. I told yo, me. You almost, you, the score was like, yo, you said what, 24-21? I said the under. I said, said the, the Chiefs and the under. Bro, you know what sometimes, bro. <laughs> and with me, man. <laughs> shout out to Manny. <laughs> Manny put his bet out. He said 49 on money line. And that kind of that 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 kind of like derailed me from just going betting the whole fucking house Fact. like I had been playing it <laughs> all motherfucking week, all motherfucking week. 
<laughs> I stayed away so, from them. Yeah. So when the, the shit went in, they were like, uh, I'm seeing them dry. They were like, you won? I was like, yeah. But I just know what I was supposed to win. Right. So it's... Like, bro, I didn't even bet on the game, bro. I was just so, like, up in the air about... Because all the big money whales were on San Francisco. But all the public was on the Chiefs. Bro, so they evened out. Like, don't Vegas doubt yourself, won, bro. Man. I know, bro. Like, I'm, hey, when they went up, 10 nothing. I don't know what it is about trick plays and the psyche with me. But if somebody got to run a trick play to beat me, bro, they, they scared. They know we on the field. Bro, I doubled down so fast on that live money line for Kansas City. What was it at? And I'm living. It was at, uh, it was just plus 140, I think. That's it? I'm telling you. And they were down 10 nothing. They still Damn. knew, bro. Hey, shit. On. You can't count Pat out with a whole nother half. Bro, if you running, if you running trick plays, you telling me. I don't think we evenly matched. I got to pull some shit out. I, I, I rabbit out the hat to, for us to have a chance. So. I took second half uh, Chiefs minus three, too. Yeah, minus three, yeah. yeah. I took Chiefs. So they could have lost by a field goal and I still would have hit. I took Chiefs uh, plus six and a half live. And I took Chiefs money line, even money live. I just wish I put it. I was very chill with my money. I didn't want to bet the house. because Y'all saw yeah. Ice Spice up there with Taylor Swift? Yeah, didn't he? I went mad when they kept showing Taylor Swift down. I'm like, shit, I spice all right. You thought I was feeling you? You fucking right, girl. Your <laughs> fine ass. Must I remind your ass? Man, let... Bro, it's going to come. We about four years away, probably. If Atlanta get an another Super Bowl here, man, let Tip and them goddamn go out there and rock that bitch. Please. Tip will put on the show, here? too. Who performed when it was here? Big boy. Uh, Maroon 5 brought out Travis Scott? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> I ain't even watched that one. Yeah, that's a shitty Super Bowl, though. Oh, yeah, that was the Rams and yeah, the uh, Patriots. I ain't watched that shit. It was a lot of events uh, when they was here, though, so that yeah. was great. Um, as prize picks... Uh, Damn. I, I, Shout out to uh, Drewski. You saw Drewski and bro. Ruby Rose. I didn't tell it. I told uh, Cam Newton's one. I didn't. Bro, Drewski had some weird ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my dog, bro. I seen that shit. I said, that nigga don't even try. That shit hit. I said, what the fuck? He had. Uh, that nigga just a lucky ass nigga, bro. He, bl he blessed, bro. He had Debo. Less than 16 and a half rushing yards. Noah Gray, more than one and a half receptions. Harrison Buckner, field goal made uh, over one and a half. And Tell Isaiah me. Pacheco, more than 16 and a half rushing attempts for Millie. Yep. He hit? Yeah. Hit like a motherfucker. What was that first one? Debo Samuels, less than 16 and a half rushing yards. Shit, Reggie hit on his pick, though. Better believe it. Ruby Rose hit too. Yeah, Ruby Rose really? hit on her pick too. Um, Isaiah Pacheco, man, my uncle was telling me something last night, bro. You know how you <laughs> argue the same with niggas? Huh? No, no, no. Different one. You know how you be want to argue and you're like, you got it, uh. He was like, who who Isaiah Pacheco reminds you of? So I'm like, who? Just think, just watch him run. I'm watching him run. He was like, he don't mind you a bear saying I said, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way he said that, bro. Bro, I swear to God, put this on my life and my kids' life. So I said, oh, he has no vision. He, I said, he run hard. Yeah, that's it. He run hard as a motherfucker. If you, if you need an inch, I love him. Yo. Oh, uh, fuck. Man. <laughs> Y'all nigga gotta go to fuck. <laughs> nigga, I didn't do it. I didn't fucking, hey. It. Hey, hey, like, hey, 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 Oh, bro, then these niggas gonna be uh, nah, sure. damn, damn, bro, I didn't, I didn't say, say shit. Anything. I'm over here looking at these pics, bro. If the nigga need a y'all, man, this is the same <laughs> shit. Measurements. <laughs> it's measurements, bro. Man. But nah, but you're gonna run hard, bro. God damn. <laughs> Now he would. Hey, I, if if your uncle would have said Ricky Waters, he would have been on to something. Right. He remind me of Ricky Waters. Let's 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 keep this thing going. Earl Campbell. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He 
called himself. We didn't have. Hey, to... I didn't say hey, shit. Yo, hey yo, didn't, didn't... hey yo, he called himself. Hey yo, <laughs> <laughs> bro, you can do the shit to anything. <laughs> It's like y'all nigga pick and choose when you want to do the shit. No, I hear y'all say on, crazy I, shit I, all day, bro, and I don't stop oh, you, nigga. Fuck. No one stops you. You stopped yourself because you knew that shit was crazy. Bro, I look over there and you and Reggie, I. <laughs> of course I'm going to stop. All right, me, nigga. I had Travis Kelsey over a half reception touchdown. The nigga did not score. Yeah, Two they, they tried work. to get him one, boy. They, they tried. Hey, to. he had them yards, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that, at the end, yeah. He, he injured that motherfucker. He's a truck that Boy, dude. he trucked the shit out that nigga. <laughs> hey, how Brock Purdy didn't have over 12 and a half rushing yards? The sack. Yeah, 12. The sack. They took away from them sacks? The sack. Yeah. Hold on. Do they take when that away? Take away from sack. They don't. Hold on. I'm, I'm looking right now. It says 12. Pride pick, holler at us, nigga. ESPN says 12. You got to say it just like that. Nigga, pride pick, holler at us, nigga. Oh, that's that hook, bro. 12. It's 12 and a half. He got 12. So, so nigga, he can say that. <laughs> Man, shut the fuck up now. Nah, no, bro. You said that's that hook? <laughs> oh, fuck that. Hey, 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 hey. That's fucked up. Nah, hey, we going to keep the hey, shit. Bro, come nah, on, we going to move the gold post. <laughs> So that he can say that. No, I referred to a fucking uh, 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 an entry on prize picks, bro. No. <laughs> and that's a term used. That's the betting term. Yes. Uh, y'all niggas on the races. same team. These niggas on the same team. I can't compete. It's one against two, bro. Marcel had McCaffrey over 23 and a half fantasy. He had 29. Good, good. Uh, that's what, five in a row, six in a row? Yeah, you on the road, boy. Oh, Reggie had Marquez Marquez scandling Great over yes, nineteen sir. and a half reception yards. He had twenty. They, oh wow, he barely got it. That had Justin Watson under one and a half reception. He had three. I like that. That I took I like that, that as well. Too man. Shit, he had nobody else to throw to. He <laughs> that nigga just started the throwing. The Darius didn't even play. Yvette had Isaiah Pacheco over sixty-seven and a half rushing yards. He had fifty-nine. That nigga was running, though. Know. Fumbled that shit. That kind of Boy. cost some, That might have cost him some rushing. It definitely did. Sure. Hey, I'm going to tell you, this I, This is how I fucked up, too. I bet at 500, first quarter, that it would be over... Uh, points. Nine and a half points. Oh, like a touchdown to field goal, easy. Bro, but they was driving. Both they teams? was there. Yes. That was my touchdown to field goal. They gonna watch the game. They ain't wondering why I'm sad. Man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, let me just dwell in peace, bro. That's why you can't gamble and go around people. Right. Because they ain't got hey. no money on shit. They hey. just drinking and having fun. Valid point. Don't do that shit around me, man. So did you, like, get that back live or something? Man, no, nigga. I just start watching the game. Nigga, <laughs> pretending to enjoy my family. You said to pretend to enjoy my family. <laughs> Uh, be like that, man. Yeah. What was the biggest highlight of the Super Bowl? Biggest play, rather. Let's see, there was a few. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I would say Pat one. Mahomes on that fourth. That fourth and one. That fourth, that fourth and one. one yeah, we about to say the same man, thing. When like I saw him do that, twenty that was yards. It. Yeah. And I, that play at the end was just so open, bro. So easy. Like, I feel like that was a good play. That was a, play. That's when the motion, you saw how they did that little trick and it threw the nigga off. He didn't know who to guard. The they Reed. did that against the Eagles last year when uh, Kadarius Tony caught that pass. Oh, yeah. Same play, but just different, different setup, different lineup. Damn. You talking about the one when he caught the ball? <laughs> Man, caught the ball don't out of the backfield. about that. Purdy was. Purdy was pressured a little bit. Hmm. I don't even that. I don't know if that really even be watching football. <laughs> I need to have that shit on. Reggie it was one play, nigga. What play? <laughs> you watch a whole game and don't not no one play. <laughs> oh, you just watch the highlight. <laughs> you at the Super Bowl just watching snacks, eating snacks and shit. 
dancing when <laughs> Usher came <laughs> on. Singing every song. Word Sing for word. every song, word for word. Caught up. Got me feeling caught up. Not bad. <laughs> uh, motherfucker, throw that shit at him. You can't. Hey. <laughs> Uh, we in there. When we come back, we're gonna get some QB one from Reggie. Hey, what 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 event would y'all rather go to? Super Bowl or All Star Weekend? Super Bowl, All Star Weekend. You could tell me and Reggie know what. <laughs> no what hey, the fuck. Hey, man. what? <laughs> all Star Weekend. Y'all nigga enjoy Super Bowl all you go motherfucking ahead. want. Go ahead. That's a family oriented event. Corporate. Yes, it is. Very Niggas cool. who own them teams, they bringing their families. Yep. They they doing shit during the week. They focus during the game. Niggas who not in the Super Bowl, they really ain't down. They and they doing they working. So it ain't no fun. Yeah, it's fun. It's a corporate event. It's co- but it's it's more like networking yeah. if it means something. If you got podcasts, you out there working your move. You, oh, it's just plenty of shit. All Star Weekend. Them niggas don't give a fuck about that All Star game. Party. Them niggas partying from Thursday night to Monday morning. You better believe it. Niggas who ain't got a shot at making an All Star, they there. The football players, <laughs> the season over, they there. Rappers, they there. Mm-hmm. Nigga, it's lit. The whatever you want to call them, they there. Everybody is that All Star top weekend, tier bro. dollar. I gotta get <laughs> Vincent Bryan on here. Come in, him was having a debate. Comedian Vincent Bryan. He said Super Bowl is a 53-man roster. So it's going to be more women out there. I said, bro, it's, it don't work like that. Them niggas be having their wives. It's all it's all corporate. Super Bowl is like, it's one of the biggest events. It's yeah. the, one of the biggest national events. You know what I'm saying? That's like a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Yeah. You can walk outside and go to All-Star Weekend. So, of course, that shit going to be fine. Mm-hmm. Like, but I, I say Super Bowl could just because, like, that's like a bucket list thing. Oh, yeah. Why? Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't I get me been, wrong. I done been to it. Watching got, the Super Bowl, weekend, of course. So. Yeah. But I'm talking about if I want to have fun and... Oh, yeah. All Star. All Star. Oh, yeah, for sure. Better believe it. Nigga, duh. That's why it's going to be something you can afford in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you tell them, if you asking me... What I'd rather do in life, yeah, I'd rather go to a Super Bowl. But if I'm ready to just hang, nigga, I don't think I'm finna die no time soon. I got plenty of time to go to a Super Bowl. Yeah. If I want to do what I'm trying to do, I'm going to All-Star Weekend. Every time. What is you? So I'm about 73. Then I go sit down and watch Super Bowl with my <laughs> wife and my grandkids. Because I know I ain't on that shit no more. <laughs> It's so you gotta wait till you wait until 73? 73. I'm waiting till I'm off. I'm waiting till I'm off what I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm at All Star Weekend, my wife and my kids, I know I'm still looking. Not just like I'm just glancing. I get 73, I don't care who walked past. I'm watching the game with my grandkids. When was the last All Star Weekend you've been to? The last one I've been to? Shit. Oh. Uh, the one in Charlotte. I was there too. That was yeah, the one in Charlotte. I, that that should have been good. Yeah, the one that should have been good. Vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I think my baby mom be supporting my show. <laughs> <laughs> it was all right, bro. I was bored. <laughs> Stayed in the room mostly. Good deal. Yeah, Smart man. Shit. I really wish, wish I would have stayed at home with my kids and my family. I hear you. I like it. That shit for single men. If you in a relationship, don't go to no All Star Weekend. You only there for work. I was only there for work. <laughs> and cut. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was talking about cut the scene. I was like, I'll act. <laughs> no, I'm gonna cut the camera off for real. <laughs> Now, when we come back, man, Richard going to get his insight detailed on QB1. He going to break down each quarterback. And uh, shit. Do we do prize picks? Like, is prize picks fun with our NFL? I NBA, think, I think it's... I've been hitting on bro, NBA. Bro, NBA, you can't... It's hard to hit on the six pick. It's, it's definitely hard to hit on the six pick. Because some games, them niggas do not care. 
Them that's niggas don't give a fuck. I don't think they care in this week either. Oh, yeah, this week, All-Star Week, yeah, man. Yeah, man. They, they just out there. All-Star Weekend, I'm taking less on everybody except Greek Freak. That nigga, only nigga, he, he, he don't hard. know. <laughs> he don't know it's an exhibition game. That nigga gonna have five fouls. <laughs> I still like the East though. Emmanuel Lebe 8839. God damn. They've been losing so much, they praying and begging God for a win. <laughs> Nigga, it's not begging. <laughs> we ask nicely. The word. But it's just something you're supposed to talk to God anyway. Exactly. And we just chose during the episode to talk to God. <laughs> but yes, we needed a win. So you're not wrong, but nigga, you ain't right. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that nigga said they're begging God for a win. Peter B. Bick, 323. Well, we got all nationalities yeah. fucking with us, boy. <laughs> this podcast is the best sports one out. Still re- remember when Nav said the idea on 85 South. And shout out, Dom's Mike still supporting the Coney 2012 and 2024. What are you talking about? Um, he said Dom's Mike still supporting the Coney 2012 and 2024. Uh-uh. Unofficial Jay said, nigga, these prayers be killing me. <laughs> These niggas ain't used to hearing real niggas pray. Yeah, that was what it is. So. I guess so. You know what I mean? We shock it. This shock value. <laughs> I feel like they gonna mark Jackson up. Oh, <laughs> shit. These niggas praying on the show, we gotta get them off. <laughs> Demario Ferguson, 3284, said, Nav is one of the most naturally funny people in the world. Nigga, how many places you been in the world? <laughs> Before I be like, appreciate it, bro. <laughs> if you ain't been outside your city or your state, then it like, damn. Appreciate you, my nigga. Country boy J97 said, hey, that prayer was hilarious. I just know that 1942 coming. Amen. This is the energy we need, man. See, so you see how yeah. it's attracting more people to pray and piggyback. Love you guys here at Broken Play. Oh, shit. Miss Nubia Boss, just watch this on the 85 channel app and we'll go watch it again to start my Saturday morning. She put the England flag. Hey. The England flag, in, my nigga. In it, in it, What bro. a great way to start my weekend. We don't even know what's the time difference over there, wouldn't she starting her weekend? I think it's six hour difference. You got to think when she was watching the Super Bowl, Monday, Monday, like 12 a.m. or something. Monday, 1 a.m., huh? They ahead of us. Yeah, they're yeah, ahead yeah, of six us. Six hours ahead, yeah. Yeah. Jasmine Robb, now to the motherfucking green. <laughs> <laughs> Best damn sports show. Stay funny, LOL. T. Hudson said, call this episode Thad's Prayer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that nigga already talking about why Sierra ain't performed. <laughs> nigga be asking for the Sierra Prayer. He, he's doing the Thad's Prayer. <laughs> Kendall... Fuck, said Najee. I waited all day at work, and now it dropped. Why you don't drop in the AM no more? Man, just be happy Najee dropped that. Word, man. fact. Man, I'm going to be honest with y'all, because y'all fuck with us over here at Broken Play. I saw Najee after the episode, and I reached in and dapped the nigga up. He dapped me back, but that nigga held my motherfucking <laughs> hand so fucking tight. That nigga act like we was finna arm rush. So y'all keep applying the pressure y'all yeah. applying. That nigga, man, dog, that nigga had that bitch. I love like, nigga, we finna fight? <laughs> Let me know, nigga. Not, hey, why we talking? If y'all done been to Najee Bay, Najee ain't no little nigga. That's why I had, I, I'm a ass. I ain't just gonna swing on the nigga. It's we finna fight. So I can know. So since then, I've been staying hydrated around this motherfucking ass. <laughs> Every time I see that nigga, I, Drink a bottle of water just in case he want to try some shit. <laughs> nah, but Najah, Najah dog, man. But y'all keep applying pressure. <laughs> Chris James, biatch. That was quick for Najah timing. 
right. Yeah, we won and won. <laughs> Banks B say, okay, Najee, we see you. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Najee, you might be a bigger star than all of us when this shit over. Word. With. 409 Key. I see you, Najee. On time with the upload. Start slacking again and niggas gonna come see about you. Yeah. All right, that was 50 50. Marcus Pope said, Yvette thicker than a motherfucker. <laughs> Bruh, how we go from. <laughs> how you watch a whole sports show and the thing you come in it, Yvette thicker than a motherfucker. Oh my! The little bit they can see. Yeah. Some some people know. Some people know. <laughs> Jonathan Woody said, "Nick Woody." Jonathan Woody said, "Nigga, I said bringing beef because Kwame, but y'all ain't even asking about it." Oh no, the full episode gonna drop. We don't know when it gonna drop. Hey, you want the shit to drop? Go let Naja know. We sent Naja the episode, bro. I don't know when he gonna drop. It. Jasmine said, see, this is why I missed that. Who else is going to pray and motivate you guys like that? Thank you for the camera time on him also. Jasmine, cut it out. <laughs> I want to think this is that. <laughs> <laughs> Who puts their real name with no numbers? No, no. Yeah, just a female that just suspicious. say Jasmine? Suspicious. That's suspicious as hell. <laughs> Dad, is this your burner account? <laughs> this is coming. Now, <clears throat> I, I think me and Marcel, we could, we watch the game. We could, you know, dissect each quarterback, but it's only one person that I feel like could. That's knowledgeable to know exactly how to break the quarterback performances down. And that's why we have to have Reggie Ball with his QB1 segment. So, you, you know what I mean? What you saw from the quarterbacks yesterday, you know, go in detail much more than what I would have done. As far as the quarterbacks, I think both quarterbacks played a phenomenal game. Uh, Brock Purdy, I think he kind of upped his game and, and changed a, a lot of opinions about him being a game manager. I see him make some key third down uh, uh, throws, some big throws, some big plays, and he responded every single time his team needed him to respond. So that, that fourth quarter and even in the overtime, I don't think they had an empty possession. Uh, of course, you want those field goals to turn into touchdowns That's when you got uh, Patrick Mahomes on the other side sideline. But I think he played phenomenal. I think he, I think he played played good. Yeah. Uh, he's going up against one of the best defensive coordinators in the game with Steve Spagnuolo, and um, some of those blitzes got to him, but he didn't he didn't lose in the game. Yeah, exactly. You know hey man, that nigga played good, bro. Yeah, bro, hey, like, he proved everybody wrong, bro. I, I agree. So. Uh, <laughs> A shout out to him, even though he didn't win the game. And I said before that if he would have won that game, he would have made a lot of money. I think even still, he he kind of cashed in. Yeah, I, I I think he earned it. Uh, Pat Mahomes on the other side, man, you 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 got to give it up to Pat. Um, threw for three thirty three. I think he rushed for almost seventy yards, so almost four hundred yards accounted for. Um, again, I mean, he is just one of those ones. Again, he's got that Tom Brady esque type of air around him, he's going to find a way to win the game. And I think he proved everybody right who was, uh, you know, on that bandwagon on, on the Chiefs winning their third Super Bowl. And, and, and again, bro, he's he's now in rare company and he's approaching that, that GOAT list if, it, if you don't have him crowned already. Yeah, he's definitely in that rare company. Um, he's tied for fourth uh, most all-time Super Bowls um, with uh, Troy Aikman, Steve Young, and Earl Morale with three Super yeah. Bowls, just behind uh, Terry Bradshaw with four, Montana with four, Tom Brady with seven. Yeah, uh, and the thing I love about, about Pat Mahomes, uh, which we you know criticized some quarterbacks before, um, even this season, uh, he took the ball and he took the game in his hands. When he needed to run, he ran. When he needed to make a play downfield with his arm, he did that. But uh, the most impressive thing I, I thought, and the thing that separated the, separated the two quarterbacks, this uh, this this. Super Bowl was the fact that he did just that. Fourth and one, he's got the ball in his hands. You know what I mean? Um, even though Purdy did make some a fourth down conversion um, during the game, but you just saw that Patrick, Mah Patrick Mahomes kind of took called his own number when he needed it, when the team needed him the most. Can you talk about his demeanor on the field and on the sideline as as the QB one of that team? Because some of them 
you see Andy Reid and Travis, you know, getting into it. You see him and Rice getting into it. You see yeah. uh, MVS catching the ball but going five yards backwards. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And it seemed like he just remained calm, kept his cool, and just that's it. that again. He's been there. You know what I mean? He, you can't rep that. You can't teach that. You can't coach that. You have to be in those positions uh, to to be able to have the composure to respond. Um, we talked about before. I think the the previous two Super Bowls he won, he was down to nothing. So he was down before in the biggest stage of of, of the game or of the season of his career. Um, you talk about the sideline blowups when Rice called him out. Let me tell you something about, about that. When a wide receiver comes up to a quarterback and, and is that demonstrative in whatever message he's trying to get across, the quarterback fucked up. Now, how many times he fucked up is debatable because wide receivers are always open. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> but, but, when, but when the receiver comes up and he calls the quarterback out like that, okay, he's got a valid point. You know what I mean? And if you pay attention to that game and if you go back and watch that game, when they showed that blow up between him and Rice, he started playing like a motherfucker. So whatever Rice said to him, it worked. Because not only did Rice start getting targets, and I think he had maybe three or four catches after that, Mahomes played, his level of play went up. So shout out to Poe for holding his boy accountable. Where do you hold Mahomes in regard to like NFL quarterback history right now? Oh, right now he's up there. He, he's... It's so hard to put him in top three, top five right now because he's so young. He's 28. So given that he has a, a healthy career, uh, a sustainable career, and the core of that team stays together, I mean, sky's the limit for him. But, I mean, it's hard to not put him up there because of the consistency that he's put on. Every year you got to account for him being in the AFC Championship. Every year you got to account for him some way, somehow pulling out uh, the biggest game of the season, you know what I mean, the Super Bowl, as he did for the second year in a row. So um, time again, time and time again, he's, he's, he's winning the game. So uh, he's, he's got to be up there, arguably, you know, one of the best. Who is he up there with? Uh, up there with Brady, uh, Montana, uh, surpassed uh, the Farves, surpassed... Uh, Right. Uh, Steve Young, he's got to be up there in that type of company. Uh, Troy Aikman, he's got to be neck and neck with Troy right now. Neck um, and neck with Troy? <laughs> but you you get what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Those guys that we consider greats that have already been, you know, uh, awarded those gold jackets, he's doing the exact same thing, if not, you know, doing better right now. So he, uh, he is uh, one of those ones for sure, and we're lucky to watch him. I got one more question for in the QB1. What's up? Um, the last three times the Niners have been to the Super Bowl, they've lost mm -hmm. with in these, and it's been three different quarterbacks: Colin Kaepernick, uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, and Brock Purdy. Mm -hmm. Has Brock Purdy kind of set himself apart from you think those other two? Uh, on the surface, no, because you got there and you lost. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's the that's the nature of the beast of being that uh, in that position. You're going to be judged on whether you win or lose. It doesn't matter how you look, how well you play. You know, nobody wants that, uh, the pat on the back and you, you walking away, not bringing home that trophy. So in that regard, no, uh, everybody's the same. You got there, but you didn't do it. But uh, in, in, as far as the potential, I think he uh, gives the 49ers and the franchise a little bit more hope because of he's consistently doing, doing it. Um, I know you can say he, they didn't get there last year, but, I mean, the guy got hurt. You know what I'm saying? But they were neck and neck with the best team in the, in the league or one of the best teams in the league last year. So uh, as far as potential, I think he set himself apart just uh, based off of what he's doing week in and week out. But, shit, all three of them went there and they didn't get it. So, and again, not by much, but I think he, he has a lot more potential for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody favorite part of the show We ain't praying this week We gonna pray individually Like Amen. so we gonna do moments of silence right now Before we even start Cause you know why I said that 
Because when we pray it out loud, you got to think people watching it and they start speaking negativity right off top. And when they hear your prayers, people can speak down on them. That's why when they do altar calls in church, the pastor pray and you pray to yourself. Think about it. The pastor prayed directly for you in front of the church. He can start, hey, man, he ain't finna get no Mercedes Benz. That nigga ain't finna get no big ass house. <laughs> if, so people watching, them nigga ain't finna go sit for sit. Them nigga ain't finna get no 1942. That's so if real. we pray to ourselves, they don't know what we prayed and That's said. Real. We might switch it up. With that being said, I got Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> this shit got All right, look. I agree, Nav. I agree. Give me Jalen Johnson. Over 15 and a half tonight. They, they got Chicago. Yeah, he should. He should do his, do what he got to do. <laughs> I'm going to go. What they playing? I got you. Go ahead. Uh, Kyle Kuzma. Points and assists over 25 and a half. Kyle Kuzma points and assists over 25 and a half. They got uh, the Dallas Mavericks. Kyle over 25 Kuzma. and a half? Mm -hmm. Nigga, the one who played for Washington? Yeah, him. Bro, I really like him. I like See, Kuzma. Dom, Dom making faces. I like Kyle Kuzma. Kuzma going to get these shots up, bro. <laughs> He don't give a fuck. Give me Jamal Murray. 30 and a half points and assists. Who they got tonight? Milwaukee. You taking the over? Yeah. Him and Dame going to battle tonight. Hmm. They don't play defense either, so that's a good... Them uh, niggas going to boogie. Hey. <laughs> a lot of NBA games tonight. Yeah, because they are, a lot of them took off yesterday. For the what you got, Ivit? Unless they are, you ready? Yeah, let me go. For the viewers watching, this is a Monday night game. Give me John Collins over nine rebounds against Golden State. Shit. All these games are Monday night viewers. <laughs> okay. I know telling when y'all might see this shit. NFL season over, that nigga might drop this shit next year. <laughs> Who you had? I don't like doing basketball. Well, and football has really let me down. I'm in a dark place when it comes to prize picks. Well, just let Greg vote pick for you then. I have options. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> let me know what you think. I was going to take Trey Young over on points. Um, 24. Oh, they're playing Chicago on Monday. That's for that game. No. Or I was looking at Ubre for... Which one was he? Over on points. Who? Kelly Ubre. Kelly Ubre. Uh, Philly? 16, yeah. Listen to your heart. Huh. Man, let her pick what she picked, bro. You acting like you be just doing no, what I'm the fuck asking, you I'm doing. asking y'all. What do y'all think about those two? Oh. I don't like the energy. Yeah. If Greg say Trey Young, y'all should go with that way. Okay. With points? 24. Okay. Twenty four. Two four. He'll go to the free throw line twelve times. I think they're gonna win big tonight. And he'll hit four threes. I think O'Connell's against Vucevic is not working. Dom, you got one? Yeah. I'm gonna go Tyrese Halliburton over eleven assists. I He's love on a minutes restriction. Mm -hmm. Shit, he'll get 10 in the first quarter. 
Who they got? Charlotte. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's a good pick. Fast pace. <laughs> yeah, good pick. Might take the over in that game. A lot of rebounds and fast breaks. So hold up. Who had Kyle Kuzma? I did. Okay. More points and assists, 25 and a half. Yeah. Wanna do Greg, you do a two pack? Greg and somebody. Greg could be the insurance. Yeah, insurance two pack. You pick two. Yeah, pick two. I mean, we do a two to get our money back. I'm putting 90 up right now. That brings us back 2250. So now you pick two players. This like this gotta be locks. Well shit, all this shit need to be locks. <laughs> <laughs> I say go Giannis over 30. It's 30.5. Mm-hmm. On points? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I like Zion Williamson's assist today. It's three and a half. Okay. Mm. See, I should have let Greg pick all that shit. All that shit just sounded good right there. Memphis. Damn, it's a lot of scrolling. They got a lot of games on private pit. They trying to get their money back. Yeah, that million back. <laughs> Say Giannis, 30. Can you okay. read, the, read the records? And stuff? And assist. Nah, I'm pressed for time. I can't read no records. <laughs> <laughs> Assist Zion Williamson. Yeah. All right. It's four and a half. That's good. Ooh. I thought it was three and a half. Nah, that's a motherfucker at four and a half like a motherfucker. They got the three and a half on the uh the goblin. Goblin. Take that take one. That, take that. All right. I'm gonna bet 60 with their brain back. Right, so. They bring back 120. So that's our money back right there, man. But we gonna get all the money. Damn right. All that shit gonna flow in. Woo! So if your niggas been hating, the wait is over, nigga. The wait is over. This is our week. This is our motherfucking week. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope y'all had a responsible Super Bowl viewing. It was a good game. I hope the NBA Finals be just as good. What's the What's the two best teams that'll give us an exciting NBA Finals? Hmm. See, this what niggas. Ah. Who out the West? Okay, see. I was Hell thinking. No. It. I was Those thinking. Two boring I, I, ass cities. Okay, Too see, boring they got they boring though. They nah, got Boston Hoopers. got good, 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 good crowds. Clippers, Milwaukee, yeah, that Clippers, New York. I don't think, I don't think the Clippers, I don't think the Clippers gonna get it, bro. I don't think so either. Milwaukee and the Clippers, man. Milwaukee's boring as hell. Milwaukee ain't gonna get there. It ain't no let them get in there. They gotta want to get in there. <laughs> New York don't want to get in there. I like the Clippers. Who else in the East would probably? Yeah. It's Boston. Tatum Milwaukee. on step up, bro. Tatum overdue. Philly. Philly's nah. not doing it, bro. And B hurt, bro. Nah. And B resting right now. He ain't hurt for real. He just had surgery. <laughs> I don't like him. <laughs> Might as well send Brian back to that motherfucker, man. If the Clippers don't want to do it, put Brian in there. That ain't happening. Viewing's up. Lakers versus Celtics. Bring it back. Not happening. I like the Celtics. Celtics, Celtics going to win that. Timberwolves versus no. Cleveland Cavaliers. Negative. <laughs> 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 Man, make sure y'all got them follow uh, Broken Play on Instagram. Yeah. That's for one. For two, make sure you keep coming. Let people know about the show. You know what I be seeing? A lot of people do be sharing this shit to their story, though. Yeah, so so we appreciate that. We appreciate that. See, we ain't want to let like we don't feel like that shit obligated for you to do that. We appreciate you fucking with the show, but let other motherfuckers know about the show. Start tagging when people steal our shit. Start tagging us. We ain't them type of nigga who gonna play it nice. 
and feel like this shit just all, no, fuck that. Nigga, take our shit off your page. They stealing clips? Yeah, they be stealing clips. Damn. I mean, you know you made it. No, fuck that. But they don't know it's us because they don't crop out that little broken place shit. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah, the voice. But no, man, shout out to Reggie. Reggie, uh, first and foremost, I know we ending the episode, so to say first and foremost is backwards, <laughs> but nigga, everybody in here picked the Chiefs. Yeah. So that's a team win yeah, for, sure. for sure. For sure. As you see, we know what the fuck we talking about. <laughs> All them other sports shows, them nigga been split. Some nigga, we knew what the fuck we were saying. Now, I was the only one who had to score the best, but that ain't on y'all. I think all y'all niggas had the over. Yeah. Nah, Dom had un- a 21-13. And you see why me and Dom is the goddamn captains. <laughs> we all the cap- captains of what? Huh? Captains of what? Other ship, nigga. Oh. <laughs> and Marcel want to beef with a nigga. Like, nah, that's right. Hell, Dom, he almost don't think we smart or something. <laughs> he said captains of what? I didn't, I didn't know. But nah, man, we appreciate y'all tuning in. Until the next time on Broken, Broken. Play. Woo!